You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Got another Black Series figure review for you today. We're continuing on with the Acolyte. We have Jedi Master Indara. This is number five from the Acolyte line. And uh, yeah, arguably, probably one of the biggest uh, casting coups that the uh, the Acolyte had when, as they were casting. Um, yeah, it was... I thought she ended up being a really cool character. Granted, uh, you know, if you've watched the first episode, spoiler alert, she does meet her demise early, but we do get some more of her in flashback. And uh, yeah, had a quite important part of the story. It was a good image of her there on the side. There's the figure in the box. Great likeness. See the lightsaber there. A little bio on the back, all the all the rubbish on the back. We don't need to know or worry about. Let's just bust her open and take a look. All right, here is Jedi Master Indara out of the packaging, and I keep wanting to call it Indira because there is a character in the High Republic called Indira Stokes from quite early on in Phase One, and yeah, it's just. Two similar names, Indira, Indira, Indara. But yeah, obviously, this is the character played by legendary Carrie Ann Moss. And uh, yeah, I think everyone was pretty damn excited when her casting was announced some years ago now, which just feels interesting. And, and I'll tell you what, this figure, I mean, just look at that face. They've absolutely nailed this one. She looks really, really good. Yes, it's a very short-lived character in terms of the present time. You know, when we go back, we get to see her a little bit more in a couple of episodes, uh, in episodes three and seven from the past. But yeah, she, uh, I don't know, she made an entrance, made a splash, and uh, met her demise at the, uh, at the hands of May in that first episode. But uh, I don't know, on me at least, she made quite an impression is, uh, yeah, would have loved to have seen a little bit more of her, especially dueling with a lightsaber. I think she was fantastic. Definitely a lot of that sort of martial arts came into that. Yeah, so she's quite renowned for that based on her appearances in the Matrix back in the day. I still haven't seen the third Matrix, <laughs> let alone the fourth. But uh, yeah, accessory wise. She comes with her lightsaber. Green blade. Sort of nice. You know, again, a very simple looking hilt. I just did a review on um, Master Soul. And yeah, I sort of spoke about how the lightsabers didn't feel, really feel all that um, elegant and and all that sort of thing in comparison to the High Republic, I thought we might be getting a little bit more into that sort of era. But uh, yeah, maybe the you know by by the time of the Acolyte series, um, the Jedi have come a little bit more utilitarian and a little less ornate and dressy. You know, even hence the robes sort of taking starting to take that sort of you know more utilitarian look of the prequels, a little bit simpler, a little less flashy. But yeah, this blade comes out. That's a, that's a nice, easy sort of, just sort of a slip-in peg. And she does have a peg hole right there. It will fit on there nicely, so it looks good. Just take that off for the moment. And yeah, again, you've got the uh, Jedi robe. You'd call that an accessory, much like Souls sort of stitched the same way, got the, uh, which is, you know, it's, 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 I'm sort of torn as to whether to snip that extra little stitch so you can put the hood up and over, um, but then is it going to sit, sit as well again, because it sort of just, it just sort of sits over the shoulders, it's not perfect, you know, these fabrics are quite light, being the size of them, they're quite small, 
it kind of sits okay like that. If it can get up over her shoulders a little bit more, I'd probably dig it. Like if it can get it to sit like that. Maybe I can. Maybe a little bit of starch and an iron. If you can get them to sit up there a little bit more. But yeah, let's get rid of that so we can take a look at the figure. So I really like her her look. I think, she's, I think the head sculpt here is just fantastic. Really nicely done. Now I like the symbology of the two little dots on the side of the eye there. If you go back and watch episodes 3 and 7 where we go back 16 years to the past, she only has one dot. Um, and she's kind of got the the sort of bangs fringe, so you can kind of, you know, sort of see the difference between her age. I mean, she aged well. <laughs> you didn't really see a lot of difference in terms of her, of her look. But yeah, perhaps the bangs sort of going back into the past, it sort of gives her a little bit more of a youthful look. Whereas now she's definitely, definitely got that sort of masterial look. We really don't have too much idea about her sort of role in the galaxy as a, as a Jedi at this point when we find her at the start of Episode 1. Whether she's just sort of hanging out or whether she's still acting on behalf of the Jedi, you're really not sure. I dare say she is. But yeah, love, love the robes, love the sort of the drape over the shoulder. You know, still shares that sort of look of the Jedi. It's sort of simple, the sash, the belt. Even looking at the back there, there's a little bit of like Ray's um, resistance vest sort of feel to that. And then the sort of the white trousers, so sort of that sort of warm, ready brown boot. And she does have one sort of gloved hand there. Yeah, and just the sort of the, the gold on the buckle there looks nice. Yeah, the the sculpting within the joints is all you know blends in nicely. Looks good. In terms of the articulation, she's got a ball joint in the head. There's a bit of a joint there in the neck. Yes, there is. You can kind of see that gap, just sort of opening up there. We had the ball hinges in the shoulders. We had the butterfly joints tucked in there nicely as well. We have ball hinges in the elbows there. Good range of movement. Now she has an in and out hinge on the left hand there. You can kind of just sort of see that joint. And obviously there is a swivel in there. This one, I can't actually see. That's yeah, a tricky joint to see. I reckon that just, oh no, that's an up and down hinge. But again, because the this, this sort of the cuffs of the sleeves there sort of inhibit that movement a little bit, but you still get enough movement that you can get her sort of dual wielding, um, you know, with both hands. So that looks good. Uh, she does have a joint in the torso, a lot nicer than, than Soul's. It sort of hugs around the waist a little bit more, whereas his had just tons of room. Uh, thighs, she's got the ball hinges... The ball, sorry, ball hinges, ball and sockets in the thighs there. No hip swivels, no thigh swivels. Ball hinges in the knees, ball hinges in the ankles, and the rocker in the feet. So good range of movement with this one. You know, just looking at this figure, I can kind of see, you know, if we're going to pick up uh, like a new Jedi Order with Ray, I can kind of see her wearing something like this as a Jedi Master. I think, you know... Almost got the hairstyle of an older Ray. You can kind of see that happening. But anyway, I'll put that robe back on. Yeah, I've so been messing around with this one for a few days now, and uh, yeah, this is a good figure, man. I, I, I like this character. I'd like to know more. She's a good one. Alright, 
So before, before we head off, we're going to do a little bit of a peg test on the uh, on the feet there. So we've got the uh, Kessel Run KR stands here. And yeah, fits like a glove, snug as, looks good, holds tight. She's not going anywhere. Yeah, fantastic looking figure. Really loving the look of her. She thinks she's really, really good. Love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the review. Subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, come check out KesselRunHair.com for all our 3D printed stuff, including our Kessel Run stands. And all our other 3D printed bits and pieces. I do need to give these a nice little slap of paint. Nice little lick of paint. But yeah, for Jedi Master Indar, we'll be back with some more reviews shortly. Stay tuned. Till next time, may the Force be with you always.